Hello, love. <laughs> now, steady on. Don't knock me over. Oh, marvellous. I wasn't expecting you till tomorrow. Remission for good conduct. Uh, that'll be all, thanks. I'm in good hands now. That's a wrong one, that is. It's easier if I do it myself. Sorry. Oh, tell you no. Oh, who helped you to get the bed down? Alec. I'd hope to get everything ready by the time you arrived. Oh, I wasn't standing there a day longer than I could help. Pestered the doctor to let me out this afternoon. He didn't like it, but here I am. Are you comfortable? Now, don't start fussing. I've had enough fussing to last me a lifetime. And you're going to get a lot more. Oh. Let me put your foot up on that. Ah, now that's something I can't manage myself. Ah, that's better. It's grand to be home. Funny feeling, having to ring my own front door. Still, I'm glad you kept the place tight, here on your own. Anyone might come prowling around. They did. Never a dull moment. What's that supposed to mean? I'm a much sought-after young woman. Oh? Who's been seeking after you since I last saw you? Alec. <laughs> he ends up shifting beds. Anyone else? I don't think so. No one? Oh, yes. Uh, Norman Harrison. Remember him? Oh, uh, Jed Harrison's lad went to university. That's the one. Nice lad. Anyone else? I uh, have to start getting the supper ready. There's plenty of time. It's Hungarian goulash with Madeira in it. Very nourishing. I'm sure. Who taught you to make that? One lives and learns. Too much sometimes. Take it easy. It may not be new, but we don't want it written off just yet. You could say same for us. <laughs> just like a couple of kids on a Sunday school treat. Why not? <laughs> well, don't forget it's a business trip, too. What about money? You can get it all at Mason's Hardware. Make sure you get the right mesh netting. I'll give you a check. We'll open an account there later. That's funny. You dropped a checkbook in Cow Bar. I gave it to your mother. When? Yesterday. She said nothing. Um, she forgot. Well, it'll be a minute. You've never been to see anybody in hospital, have you? Ah, oh, they're not getting me in there until they carry me in. I say, how are you, lad? And he says, all right, ma. And I ask him what he's had for lunch. And then we sit and look at each other. Yeah. Matt said he gave you my checkbook. Ain't dresser. We had a good look first, mind. Well, I mean, people just leave things about. <laughs> Who else knew it was there? Nobody else's business. We can keep secret. Secret? Don't listen to him. But I've never known secrets be out but trouble. I'll just give this to Matt. How much do you reckon? Well, he paid in office hour outside. I think we could find out. Well, if you're that interested. It makes a difference. Oh. Lots of ways. You only have to fill in the amount. First time I've filled in one of these. Oh, well, let's hope it won't be last, eh? <laughs> I might win pools. <laughs> What's that for? Birthday present. It's not my birthday. It's Grandad's next week, though, in case you've forgotten. Well, it'll make up for some of those I've missed. Go on, enjoy yourself. Go to a cinema, have a good meal. I don't believe in throwing money away. Oh, well, buy Matt a new pair of boots, then. Oh, Mrs. Henry. 
Pennywell says she can come next week. All right. Can you live on goulash and poached eggs till then? My dear in the goulash. What are you poaching eggs in? How about white wine and whiskey in the coffee to finish? You've been having cookery lessons while I've been away. Maybe. Who from? We put your bed in here for the television. No point sticking it in the other room. Bad as being in hospital. Alec helped you to get the bed done? Yes. Marion. Hmm? There's someone you haven't mentioned. Oh? Marion. What? Sit down a minute. You come home a day early and expect Marian. me to sit... Where I can see you. You look so solemn. When I was a little girl, I used to think God looked like that. Oh, well, you're not so little now. Shall I paint pretty flowers all over it? Jack Sugden. What about him? You've been seeing him? Sometimes I think you forget how old I am. I don't. That's what worries me. Or that I've had some experience of men. Well, that didn't turn out too brilliantly, did it? Don't get your fingers burned a second time. I'm not a child. No, but compared with him... Don't you trust me? I trust you, all right. But have you learned any more about him? I know all that I want to know. Does he come here? Nights? He taught me to make goulash. That all he taught you? Oh, Daddy, don't be so melodramatic. Did he try to make love to you? I'm going out. There's something about Sugden I think you ought to know. I don't want to hear it! Marion! I'm going out for some fresh air. Oh, hello, Janie. All right, if I come and talk to you. All right. Nice flowers. From your ma? No. How are you feeling, Joe? All right. It's nice in here. Ah, if you don't have to stay. Any idea how long you'll be in? No, they never tell you much. It's messy about. Oh, I'll have to cheer you up, then. You'll have your work cut out. Does it hurt, Joe? Not much. How did you get over here? You must be mad. Oh, that I am. Dad. Hey, you made me jump. You need exercise. Go and get me some eggs. He's younger than me. I want to talk to Jack. Well, then why not say so? And I do need some eggs. We're going to make a cake. All right, I'm going. Uh, you wouldn't like me to fetch in sheep from up top while I'm at it, would you? Now, son. Yes, ma'am? Don't you, yes, ma'am, me. You know what it is. Aye. I didn't look in that checkbook. I know you didn't. And I know you know. So? So why leave it on the table like that? Do you want me to see it, or don't you? I wish I knew. Sometimes secrets get so swelled up, you have to let them out or bust. You're too cunning by half. Be that as it may. Do you want to tell me, or don't you? I do and I don't. Let me know when you made your mind up. I'll look at it. I haven't got a moment. on me then. Was I? Used to keep getting into trouble from old Potter, always turning round looking at me. Oh, I don't remember. That's all it ever was though, just looking. You never asked me to go out, were you? Can't have been very interested then, can I? Will you take me out when you get out of here? No thanks, Janie. Lots of fellas have asked me. 
Don't need me, then. Arca's not good enough for Sugden's. What's that supposed to mean? Like our Ruth and your Jack when they was at school. Won't look at her now. Got his eye on something better. No, I happen he has. And that Wilkes girl. She's just given him the run around, though. More than one iron in the fire. Oh, look, Jenny, you know nothing about her. You've gone on her, too? You must be daft. Oh, look, I'm tired. Go away. Mind if I come and see you again? Can't very well stop you, can I? All right. Well, you go to sleep. And I hope you have sweet dreams, because that's all they'll be. I didn't come in here just to sit down. Oh, come on. Can't even get a decent cup of tea. Well, they said they had Russian. There's a lot we miss living on the farm. Now, if you've got that job in Bradford, well, at least we'll be able to go out for a bit now and then. Pictures sometimes. Shops to look at. Bit of comfort. Sometimes I wonder why you married me. No, do I. No, I don't. You're a good man, Matt. Tell our Jack you want £25 a week or you'll be off to Bradford. I'm not going to Bradford. He doesn't know that. All you have to do is drop a few hints. With money like that, we could move out at farm into village. Get a little car of our own, perhaps. Well, it's not asking much. It's only what most folks have already. It's blackmail. I like wallpaper in here, don't you? Well? You paid money down. I just told you I did. Didn't you believe me? Better than never, never, any road. Well, is that all you're going to say? What else can I say? All Liz tells me is a lot of money's come in and a lot's gone out. So? I guessed you had money. And you see what that means? I haven't had time to think. Anyway, I'm glad you know. Not so sure as I am. Does it worry you? It's not where we've been not having it. And as I've never had it, I've, I've never worried. I don't know yet. It bothers me. Why? I tell you, I don't know. It bothers me what it might do to... to family. I wasn't thinking of spreading it round. Though I might find a bob or two to get something for Sam's birthday. People know you got money. Things are never the same. I wasn't thinking of telling everyone either. You told me. You're tough enough to take it. Am I? Well, I can't see you hankering after fast cars and nightclubs. It's just knowing it's there. Well, what harm does that do? I don't know. Makes a difference. To you and me? Of course. How? Are you going to tell me how you came by it? Well? Not yet. Why not, if it's not to be ashamed of? You'll see. One day. Is it going to keep coming in, or is that the lot? It'll keep coming. I hope. I know what's bothering me. On one hand, you're the same. Doing the job your father did. At least you're learning. And on the other hand? You're two people. One of them I don't much like. Just trust me. One of you I trust. I'm not sure about t'other. 
for a bit longer. Not much option, have I? Are you finished? Mm, come in. Oh, thanks very much. It's cold out there. If you want any more, you'd best have a word with ends yourself. Yeah. Well, uh, is nobody doing any work around here except me? I'll give you a hand with milking later if they're not back. I told them not to rush. Oh, aye, farm can mind itself, yeah. I'll go and get the cows. Well, your best hurry. I saw three of them up top. They're halfway to Watton by now. <laughs> oh. Don't know as they're ours, mind. visitors today then? They've left. All right, Mr Wilt's gone too, so they tell me. No, he's lucky. In more ways than one. Still, that's the way it goes. You either have it or you don't. What's that supposed to mean? Well, look at it this way. Wealthy man, nice car, at least it was. He has a crash, not his fault, and he gets off with a broken leg. Aye. The look's just not on your side, is it? I'm not complaining. I know, but you can't afford to go writing off cars now, can you? Smash yourself up into bargain. And as if that's not enough, you've got the police on your tail too. The insurance will pay for Wilkes' car. No, we could only afford third party. Couldn't hardly afford that, though, could you? How do you mean? We found the documents in your car. Your insurance ran out three weeks ago. Is that noise you? I never believe we met by chance. It sounded like something in pain. A soul in torment. What was it for? Calling cows. Surprised it didn't stampede them. Probably why I couldn't find them. Shouldn't you be out looking for them? Leave them alone and they'll come home. How's your father? Home. Shouldn't you be there looking after him? Probably. So what are you doing in this hall of memories? Thinking. Never dwell on the past. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> the past is past. It's the future that matters. And you're planning a rosy one? I'm thinking of leaving here. Are rustic ways getting you down? Not particularly. Sorry I didn't come up to expectations. I just don't want to live at home anymore, that's all. There is an alternative. No, thank you. The offer still stands. You think I'm a child too, don't you? Do I? Just someone to play with. I'm sorry, but it isn't a game to me. You are a child. You ever known any child not taking a game seriously? There's no such thing as a game to children. Well, they play all right, but, my God, they play to win. 
Playing is a deadly serious business. Then they grow up and get on with the serious business of living. Until one day they wake up and realise that they're not going to win. That it was only a game after all. No big prizes at the end. That's life. A great big game. Here endeth the first lesson. You're very good with words. Am I? Only it's just a bit too clever for me. We don't all think like you, thank God. Some of us are not looking for big prizes. What do you want? A lot of things you'd sneer at because they're too conventional. A home, children, knowing that whatever happens, someone will always be there. Now laugh. I'm not laughing. Why not? Everyone to his own point of view. I suppose it's never occurred to you that I might think you're childish. Not really. Think about it. There's your answer. At least the cows come when you fall. Damn the cows. Come and see Daddy sometime. I thought he detested me. I'll uh, try and hide my feelings. Well, where the hell do we stand now? We'll decide that when you've grown up. Top, aren't you? Matt and Peggy aren't back yet. Making a real day, did I expect? On the day. Past eleven. Probably gone to the cinema. Last house. Could be, I suppose. If they have, they should have said. He's well off. I'm the heart to wake him. Shan't be sorry to be off myself. Before you go, I'll sit up a bit. I like to know all's in. Would a drop of this stop you worrying? Can't say that. Might help keep me awake. I'll get glasses. You would come to a bit sharpish. Oh, a ronin nodding. These two? You could wait to be invited before including yourself. Hey, Jack had not begrudged his granddad, and I can't. Hey, up, who's that? Peggy, I hope. Oh, they're going to make a hole in that, aren't they? I was beginning to wonder where you were. I'll catch you. I haven't had an accident, have you? You could put it like that. Land Rover's been pinched.